Hello, this is Kathleen McKee of Olean's.com, Machine Embroidery Art. Lesson 11, Working with Block and Stitches. In PE Design, or the PES format, you are always digitizing in the block mode. I'll do a couple examples of this for you. We'll use our manual punch tool that I'll pull from the quick access bar. And I'm going to left click top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom, top. And the last one I'm going to double click. I say top, bottom so I can remember where I'm at when I change directions of this tool. We're also going to use a region tool and I see from the attributes that the fill stitch is not filled in and it's not on my quick access either so I'm going to turn my region fill stitch in and I'm going to left click once, twice, three times and on my last one I'm going to double click and that will automatically join where my last point was entered to where the first point was entered. We'll start with this one first. Now you notice when I use the uh, edit select point and I choose this, it's going to have four edit points, the four that I laid down. And you can move these any way you want. You can move them all over the place. You can even add an extra edit point by clicking on the line and you can add another one here. You can do just about anything you want by uh, and changing the whole design. If, however, this were in stitches, uh, we're going to go and convert it to stitches, which you can also uh, do by, you see the outline? It's also uh, going to allow you to convert it to stitches. You notice the block option is not up there because uh, it's already in block, but I'm going to pull it from my quick access bar and I'm going to convert it to stitches. Now, when I go to my edit point tool, look at all the edit points you have. There are more edit points in there and sometimes you may need to individually change these edit points. It depends on your application. It's not one's better than the other. It's a question of what you need to do that job. So let's go back to the manual punch design I made. Once again, we're going to go to our edit entry select point and you see that we have just the ones that we laid down. Those are the only edit points you can change. Once again, you can change uh, and add extra edit points in there if you need them. You say you want it a little curvier and you forgot to use the curve block, you can add extra edit points and get a more uh, curved design. That would not be so easy to do if you were in the stitches mode. Because now when you go for your edit tool, you've got a lot more stitches to edit if you needed to change the whole group, but sometimes you may need that. So that is how you change stitches to block and block to stitches.